Hey, why don't you eat your hotcakes before they get cold? I gotta work on my radio slogan contest. If I win, I get 10,000 bucks. You've been working on that thing for weeks. You'll never win. I got it. How's this for a slogan? White boat pudding, what a treat. Even good for tired feet. Beautiful. What a treat. Even good for tired feet. I just love ketchup on my hot cake. Oh, that's delicious. But for me, I like the good old fashioned syrup. It's a little bit sweeter. <laughs> something he ate. Yeah, it's those hotcakes of yours. My hotcakes? You're crazy. Hmm. Well, I admit the hotcakes ain't so good, but the syrup's delicious. <laughs> you idiot. That's not syrup, that's glue. <laughs> mm? This will open it right up there. Now watch it. Oh. I got it. Hot water always melts glue. Wait a minute. I know what I'm doing. I, I, I should know. There. See, it worked. What are you trying to do, boil me? You think I'm a lobster? Oh, wait a minute. Well, God, you're right. <laughs> I fooled him. Well, you certainly did. Pardon me. Yes? Go away from here. <laughs> hey, Chef, bring me something to clean my mouth. Oh, this will clean anything. Open your mouth. This will fix it. I've got to write and finish this here thing here. Shempy. What, he? Like to play games? Oh, I'd love to play games. Close your eyes and open your mouth. There. Answer the phone. <laughs> Hello? Hello. May I speak to Mr. Shemp Howard, please? My name is Shemp Howard. Mr. Howard, this is a mystery motor jackpot program. If you can guess the name of our mystery auto from the sound of its motor, you will win the $50,000 jackpot. Listen now to the mystery motor. Oh, that cheap gasoline. Oh, my bunion aches. Bunion ache, bunion ache, bunion ache. That is absolutely correct, Mr. Howard. You have just won the $50,000 jackpot. $50,000? I'll be right over. <laughs> hey, fellas, I just won the $50,000 jackpot. Oh, boy, I won a contest at last, which makes up for all of the past. Hot dog. Now we can live like gentlemen. Gentlemen? Boy, what a swell dump. You know, this reminds me of that penthouse we were thrown out of once. Look at this room. Fancy and clean. I'd feel like a king if I just had a queen. <laughs> oh. Quiet. Hello? Send up a dozen bottles of champagne. A dozen. Dozen. Spell it? Make it 12 instead. 
Gentlemen, the furnishings in this room are of great value. Now, for instance, this genuine Ming vase is valued at $5,000. Ming. Oh, no wonder it costs so much for a Ming coat. Over here, please. Now, this beautiful bed goes back to Henry VIII. That's nothing. We had a bed that went back to Sears Roebuck the 12th. <laughs> <laughs> Always kidding. Uh, Gentlemen, if I can be of further service, please call me personally. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Personally. <laughs> you cement head. Why, that's an insult with me. In my country, that's an insult. On God, I got it. Oh, 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 oh. Look, a rowboat. A rowboat, you're crazy. That's a horse trough. <laughs> horse trough? Rowboat? In a hotel? You imbeciles, that's a bathtub. Go on, take a bath. Wait a minute. It ain't spring yet. Oh, yes, it is. See the grass? Where? You're crazy. That's a bath mat. Oh, I can't see anything. It's dark in here. Fellas, help me. I'm blind. I'll help you. Uh, I can't see. I can't see. What's the matter? I had my eyes closed. Come on. Take a bath. Boy, what a beautiful bed. And just what we need, a triple decker. I oh. want the upper berth. You get less air up there. Uh, how can I get up there? Where's the ladder? I... How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night. Oh! Get this Henry VIII off my neck. When I get out of here, I'll murder you for this. Oh. What are you trying to do, break my neck? Your neck, look at my hat, it is broke. So it is. Oh, I can fix that. Oh! <gasps> My hat! Why, you... Oh! <laughs> Pay for it. That's what I'll do with you. Come here. Oh! 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Look. Ah! 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 Oh! See that? Oh. Oh, oh! Quiet, you guy! Oh! Oh, boy, champagne! <laughs> Give the man a tip. Certainly. There you are, my man. Yes, Darwin. That's a good baby, Darwin. Girls, girls, I just found out that the three bachelors that won the $50,000 jackpot contest are right next door to us. $50,000? Baby, how we could use some of that. And we will get it, too. Darwin, you go next door and you get lost. We will come and find you. Go on, Darwin. Go on. This bottle is flat. So is your head. Uh, I'll sharpen this one up. Believe me, I'll sharpen it up. I'll get this one to start off in a minute. I guess I sharpened this one a little too much. You've had enough. Give me that bottle. Let go. Give me that. Let go. Oh. Seeing gorillas. Well, don't look at me when you say that. Oh! oh. 
You know, one of these days, I'm... Hey, look, those pants are moving. The joint's haunted. Maybe it's ants. Hey, fellas, what's going on? Your pants are walking and you ain't in them. Mm -hmm. You've been drinking again, eh? That's impossible. Who ever heard of pants walking when nobody's in them? I'll say... Oh! My pants bit me! Whoa. Whoa. We better kill that. Wait a minute! That's that $5,000 gadget. <gasps> oh, I ought to annihilate you. Here, I'll get it. Wait a minute. Let a guy that knows how to do it kill that thing. Yeah. Why don't you give me a softer board? Oh, get out of here. And you, why don't you move that vase over further? Well, I'll tell you about uh, that. Oh. Now, listen, you. Hey, fellas, you were right. There was a big animal, all covered with fur. Yeah, 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 I know. That bath went to your head. Uh, Come on, get your pen. Come in. Come in. Come in. Gentlemen, this registered letter just arrived, and I thought it might be important. Thank you. Oh, it must be our prize money. My bed! Oh, my vase, my beautiful vase! Oh, you ruined my room! Quiet, I can't hear myself read. Excuse me, I'm wearing my short eyeballs. What's the matter? Something wrong? These figures stagger me. So will my bill. Hey, fellas, trouble on him. Hey, fellas, get up. Hey, fellas. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, get up. Oh. Something tells me we better beat it. Go on, get dressed. Come on, you. There's something peculiar about those men in there. Don't let them get out. I'm going down to make up a bill they'll never forget. All right, boss. Hey, we gotta get out of here. They'll throw us in jail if they find out we're broke. What did you do? I just dotted his eye. What do you mean you dotted his eye? Well, like this. Uh, we'll see about this. And remember, girls, we must have them propose to us right away. Okay, now look pretty. On detective, he won't go away. He won't, eh? Well, we'll fix him. Man the champagne buckets. Give. <laughs> We're terribly sorry. We thought it was somebody else. Oh, that's all right. Was... How about coming in and having some champagne, girls? Thank you. We will come back as soon as we put on some dry clothes.
Boy, are we in trouble. I'll get you out of this trouble. I'll win another contest. Roses are red, violets are blue. You crush your skull, I'll break them in two. <laughs> Officer Ryan, you deserve a sharp reprimand for taking up the valuable time of this court with these flimsy cases. And so does Officer Casey. These men cannot be held for vagrancy. They have visible means of support. Does he mean I suspend us? Oh. Ow! Quiet. Ow! I'm sorry, officer. This other charge, chicken stealing. I'm not going to make these poor unfortunates the victims of your prejudice and guesswork. Case dismissed for lack of evidence. You're free, boys. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Your Honor. What's the matter with him? Oh, he thinks he's a chicken. Why don't you put him in an institution? We can't. We need the eggs. Quiet. Every man for himself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mo, you're wasting your time. Doorbell out of order. If the doorbell is out of order, how are they going to know we're out here? Why don't you use your head? Yeah. Come in. Ain't no answer. All right, hey, well, get one. Oh. Stop it! Stop it before you knock the door down. Well, that's what your company will do if you don't have the doorbell fixed. Oh. Can you fix it? Can we fix it? Can we fix it? Can we? Why, you... Oh, oh, oh. Do you have a bloater? No, but I have a sardine. You'll have to beat it, lady. We got a lot of work to do. Oh! Thank you. Now, you know, this looks like a simple job for simple people. Right. Okay, boys. Come right, eh? Right. There it is. Chisel. Chisel. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Pliers. Pliers. Bracing bit. Bracing bit. Cold still. Cut it out. Fellas, I'm getting dizzy. Ah, you were born dizzy. Give me that hammer. <laughs> Here, let me. Oh! I let you. Oh! Oh! Shut up now. There's something wrong with the wiring. We gotta find the wire. Hey, fellas, I found a wire. Good work, Larry. You keep it up, and I'm gonna give you some C A N D Y. I don't smoke. That away. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, Mo. There's the wire. Nice work, old man. Trace it. Right. Oh. Oh, Mo. Sorry, Mo. You told me to trace the wire. That's all right, son. I've been framed. Get it? <laughs> He's been framed. <laughs> but you, you guys are going to take the rap. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Check those wires for a short. Oh. Oh. Check those wires for a short. There's nothing short about this. Go on. Hiya. Get to fix the doorbell. Where is it, buddy? Monsieur, buddy, to you. The bell, she is on the wall. Oh, she is on the wall. Hey. <laughs> You idiot, you! You, you! Imbecile? Uh, oui, oui, oui. You imbecile, you! This kitchen is not big enough for us both. Either you stay or I go. That lets you out. So long. We, we will see about that, buddy. Ruff, ruff. Mm, go on, you French pony. Your father's got fleas. Huh. 
she is on the wall. <laughs> Unexpectedly. I'm planning a big dinner party tonight, and I'll need help at once. What? You've no one? Oh, but you must have. Oh, dear. My last hope. Oh, it can't be that bad, lady. You can always open a can of beans. Oh, not for this dinner. I've been planning it for weeks. I'll need a butler, a cook, and a waiter. Oh, I'll pay anything, anything at all. We'll do it as a special accommodation. You mean you three? Sure, you know our motto, we fix anything. It also means we fix dinners. Yeah, just like we fixed the doorbell. Oh, and did you fix it? Did we fix it? Did we fix it? <laughs> yes. Show the lady, Shep. Okay, just tell me when. You know, he's known as Lightning. Ready for testing. Ready for testing. Hey, she blows. <laughs> I'm full of high voltage. Get me loose. Wait a minute. We'll rent them out to a light company. Testing. Contact. Two eggs. I guess that's far enough. Put them in the turkey. Any dumbbell would know that. Safety put them in the turkey. Let's see what's next. Half a dozen oysters. One. Hmm. Here's one we didn't clean. Well, we'll fix that up. Get out. Look at that stuff. Wouldn't clean them, eh? Pinch of salt. <clears throat> How do you like that? Then <clears throat> almost got it myself. It backfired. Oh, well, tomato, side me, red ripe puree, tomato, right inside it, ripe tomato. You idiot, you imbecile! What'd you put in that turkey? Like the book says, this can of tomatoes. Paper and stuffing, hey! A loaf of bread well soaked. Sorry, I have to do it. How do you like that? An upper shoot, a down shoot? You got enough? 
You throw in the towel? Well, okay, get in there. That's it. The next thing. Uh, there's a few of these grapes will go in there. That's right. Well, yes, sir. One of these. A little of this. Of the... Yes, sir. A little of that. And I'll take... Yes, got to take this. And this. Got to sip that out a little bit. Get a... That's it. Right on the top there. Baste it a little bit. And this one's got pits. How do you like that? That's it. Much... Two cups of flour. One fourth pound of butter. Two cups of milk. One. Two. Oh, baking powder. I almost forgot. That's important. There it is. Fine and dandy. Okay, Mo. Take you ready for Whitney. I can't understand what happened to that turkey. I only had the dial set at 650 degrees. 600? Listen, if the cake in that oven turns out like this, you're going to be the next one to broil in it. And I'm going to baste you with nitric acid. Go on, fix that punch and make it snappy. But the lady said she wanted it weak. Go so, on, go on. Look out. Hey, uh. <laughs> I just got a flash in the kitchen. You better fill up on these. Herbert, dear, these are my good friends, George and Lydia Morton. My husband, Judge Henderson. I'm honored, Judge. Glad to know the president of the Voters League. <laughs> Pardon me. May I serve you? Help yourself, I'm busy. Oh, I'm well, so sorry. Really? They're new here. Odd. I think I've met him before, but I just can't place him. Well, so the evening shouldn't be a total loss. We'll serve him punch cake and coffee. All right, but don't mix me up, will you? I'll say you're in trouble. No, no, the judge is out there. What judge? The judge who wants to send us up for life. Don't worry. Where there's life, there's hope. Oh. Uh, he'll never recognize us in these outfits. Oh, yeah. Now, go on. You take care of the cake. You possum puss. Get that punch out there. Oh. He'll get one from me. Go on. Shake a leg. Don't stand around like a bunch of buzzards. There's enough here for everybody. Oh, a Mazzarino cherry. Not bad. Now get back in the kitchen and help Larry with that cake. Go on. What do you think of your chances for re-election? Mr. Morton, I'd say it all depends on what you recommend to the voters. <laughs> well, you've made a splendid record, Judge, and I think you can safely count on another term. Thank you. Have a slug? Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Oh, no, Your Honor. You're sure I never sent you up? No, I've never been up. Except in an elevator. <clears throat> Pardon me. There's something strange going on around here. A masterpiece. How's it look? It looks good, but let's see if it's done. Mo will kill us. What'll we do now? What can we do? We'll fill her up with gas. Now you're cooking. High enough? I'll check. 38 pounds. How many people out there? Oh, about 20. Oh, we better pump in a couple of more slices. Go ahead. Penny! Now, you see if you'll... Why don't you 
you stand over there. Look here. Well, Mo said to make I it light. I don't care what he said. What are you right. standing up there letting go of it? Okay. All right. Go ahead. I'll hold it. Go ahead. You make with the white stuff there. Go ahead there. Can't let me. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's kind of stuffed up. Ow! I'm going to put off murdering you until you collect your paycheck. How's that cake? Wonderful. If we didn't hold it down, it would float away. If I want a smart crack, I'll make one myself. Put the candles in and get it out there. Come on, all get right, busy. All get right. that, get Here. The peace be resistance. Listen, everybody. It's George Morton's birthday. Oh, surprise! Oh, surprise! Thank you. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. That nobody can deny. <laughs> Mr. Morton, it's all yours. Make a wish and blow out the candle. Well, my fondest wish is that my friend Judge Henderson will blow this campaign sky high. <laughs> If this is supposed to be a practical joke, I've got one for you. Yeah, but, Mr. I was only joking when I spoke of supporting you. Lydia! Lydia, where are you? Oh. Bring it out of here! Oh, it's home! Lydia, are you all right? Oh. 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 Is the shooting over? Now I know who you are! be married. <laughs> yeah. We'll soon have wives to do the housework instead of us. What gets me is how you two ever found anyone who would marry such house owners. <laughs> Quiet, Titmouse, and finish your work. All right. The wedding bell will ring. Ding, dong. The wedding bell will ring. Ding, dong. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. Gee, Mo, I'm sorry, Mo. What Mo can a fella say? That's all there is. There ain't no Mo. <laughs> You're only nervous. You were just careless. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Get out of here. Oh. Come on. Oh. Get to work. Oh. You, fix the bed. Who's going to make me? He is. He is? Oh. Stupid old buzzard. Fix a bed. <laughs> Sloppy housekeepers. Sorry, Mo, the mop did it. Well, so it did. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! There. Oh. Oh. oh, where did I put that? Hmm, I got it. 
got to get something to pound with. Oh, yeah. No? Oh, yeah. Oh, this has got it. Oh! Oh! Oh, my head. Davenport recovered. The place will be more presentimental to the new bribes. Bribes? You mean brides? Uh uh. Anybody who'd marry you two buzzards would have to be bribed. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh! Now, for your information, it was love at first sight. My girl proposed to me the minute we met. Yeah? My girl did too. Well, that's a coincidental. That's exactly what my future wife did to me. Oh, come on. Come on. Cut this material right, out. Hold it up there. There you go. Nice coming. All right, all right. It's on a bias here. I must be going against the grain. Come on. All right. There. Okay. Oh. oh. You <laughs> stupid idiot. Wait a minute. I can explain it. Oh, 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 my nose. My poor, poor little cute love nose. Oh, there, there, kid. I was a little bit excited. Oh. Come on, you. Fetch this material out. All right. Get a hammer and some tags. Just my luck. I buy a two-pan suit, and he ruins the coat. All right, come on, right here on the end. Wait a minute, I got to do this right. I don't want to miss. Right close to the end. All right. Oh, 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 <laughs> Sorry, Mo, I can't get used to these bicycle fogles. Why, you cement head. Oh, 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 look. You wrecked the hammer. You idiot. Come on, get busy. Hold it, fellas. I got an idea. Stretch out the cloth. I'll take care of everything. Okay. Now level it off nice and tight. Oh, there you are. What's the idea of the rifle? That's a continuous shooting automatic. I figured if a rivet gun can shoot rivets, this can shoot tanks. You're getting to be a smart little imbecile. Thank you. Here we are. Funnel. Plenty of tacks. Ready? Ready, aim, fire! Ain't bad. That's nice work. But we better hurry up and finish it because I got a date with my girl. Me too. Me three. Funnel. More tax. Here, let me try Wait it. Wait a Hold it. Hold it up. Here, let me try it. Wait a minute. I, I saw it. Oh, 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 never mind. Idea. Out, out, out. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, fellas. Oh. Oh. We better do something. Come on. Oh. Hold still. Hold still. Oh. Oh. What do I feel? I'll probably have to eat all my meals standing up. Why, you... Right. Oh! You missed me. I, I'll take the thing myself. You couldn't let me do it. You had to come up the works. Uh, go stick your head in the bucket and see if your nose will right underwater. There. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why... <laughs>
the tax won't come out. They went in. Maybe they were income tax. I got an idea. Roll him on his back. All right. Hold steady there. Come on there. Hold steady. Right over there. Come on. There we are. Take it easy. Move it, will you? Hey, I got a magnet. Open your mouth, move. That's it. There we go. There we are. Move your tonsils. That way. That's it. That's it. Cough them up. Cough them up. Hold it. Are you okay now, Mo? Oh, Don't me. worry. Don't worry, Mo. These tacks will never attack you again. But I will. Oh, oh, right. Wait a minute. Let him along. Oh. Quiet, you guys. Have an apple. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be right over. You sure you love me, cutie pie? Of course I do, darling. Hmm. She loves me. She loves me. She loves me. Oh. But she loves me. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Oh, boy, now I'll polish my shoes. Where's the darba? Well, I've got to give myself a good shine here. Hey, where's Larry? Phone his girlfriend. Wonder what she looks like. So do I. For that matter, I wonder what your girl looks like. You never told me. Well, that makes us even. You never told me what your girl looks like. Probably a goon. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that brush. Put that brush down. Oh, all right. Now, get out of here. You're always picking on yeah. me. I'm going to catch up with you, brother. You keep talking about my girl. That's a good way to get your head busted. Remember that now. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh! oh. There. Hey, kid, forget it. Forget it. I lost my head. Here, rinse your mouth. There you are. <laughs> Hold it, Mo. I'll fix it. I'll fix you up. Just take it easy, kid. Wait a minute, kid. Just a little more. Just right here. I got to put it on. Just. something for my little cutie pie, too. Oh. <laughs> Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh. There. Now, how about a little kiss? Oh, it, it, it's, it's Mama. I want to break the news to her gently about us. Would you mind waiting in the left bedroom? In the left bedroom, yes. Hurry up, Larry. Darling, come in. <laughs> I knew you were coming, so I baked a cake. Oh, fancy that. You're a honey bunny. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, what, what? Oh, this. I have bells on my fingers and... Uh, rings uh, on my toe. <laughs> oh. How about a kiss? It's Mama. I want to break the news to her gently about us. Would you mind waiting in the right bedroom? The right bedroom? Yes. Hey! Oh, oh darling. Darling, come in. I 
knew you were coming, so I baked a cake. Oh, you shouldn't have ought to done it. But I didn't forget you either. Close your eyes. Won't you come over here and sit down? I have something else for you. And now, honey, you can have me with you all the time. That's me, honey. What are you doing in my girl's house? Your girl? She's my girl. We'll see about that. Come on. Yeah, all right. I'm with you. Don't worry. Hey, what are you doing in my girl's house? She's my girl. You're both double crosses. I'll tear you apart. Oh. Come on. Get out of here. You, oh. Don't you You're muscling in on my girl. I'll tear your tonsils out. Oh, you will, eh? Don't you dare! <laughs> Look what you did. Oh. Quiet. Put up your hands. Come oh. on, get out of here. Oh, so you want to fight, eh? I'll give it to you. What do you know about yeah. this? I'm a little too speedy for you, eh? Go ahead. Oh, I'll dust you off. Well, it gets a little, little skipping here. Now I'm ready for you, kid. Go ahead. Come on. No. Can you take it? Yeah. Can you take it? Yeah. All right. I'll oh. take it. Oh. Steal my girl, hey? Sweetheart. <laughs> so long, suckers. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Too. These look so good. <laughs> Doggies don't get cookies either. Mm. Surprise! You again. In person, Millie, my little dilly. And I brought you some flowers. Thank you. 
Don't mind if I do. Hey, Millie, how about having dinner with me tonight? I have a date with Shemp. You know we're engaged. You're a sucker, Millie. You know he's not true to you. He's a playboy. I don't believe you. Nevertheless, it's a fact. You're too good for that, Chisler. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! My. Serves you right for lying about my shamp. Yeah, someday you'll catch that two-timer red-handed and you'll know I wasn't lying. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ooh. Boom. Oh, Shem, darling. Flowers for the fair. Oh, wherever did you get the money to buy such a beautiful bouquet? Oh, thinking nothing of it. It was practically uh, steel. Oh, uh, Shem, Larry was just here again. Oh, if he don't stop annoying you, I'll punch him in the nose. I'll black his eye. I'll give him a... Oh. Was that my drums? Champ, be a darling and put these over on the table while I change my clothes. Certainly, my sweetheart. Uh, okay, shorty, I'll throw the ball for you. Oh, I got you all wet, didn't I? Well, I'll fix you up. Come up here, shorty boy. Oh, don't you worry, we'll get you dry. Oh, yes. Stay right there now, shorty boy. Hey, now, when you Oh, this way. Ah, a good boy. Now, Shorty, I'll have you dry in a minute. I'll have you dry in a minute, boy. That's the boy. Just, oh, hold it there, boy. I'll have you gone in a minute. Oh, you're still wet, ain't you? Well, I'll fix you up. Come over here, boy. There we are. Oh, there you are. Well, baby! Oh, well, what? <sighs> Good morning, Miss Lapdale. Good morning, Mr. Larry. Uh, take a letter, Miss Lapdale. Yes, Mr. Larry. I'm ready. <clears throat> to my Siamese representative, Mr. Rami. Dear me, uh, I, uh, I, 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 Wait a minute. Trying to steal my wife away from me, eh? No. <laughs> I'll tear you apart, you philander and porcupine. You keep away from my wife or I'll tear this cucumber off and shove it down your throat. <laughs> Wait a minute. I never saw your wife. Oh, yeah? I found this in my wife's purse. Oh, that. That's my Christmas ad. I give it to all my customers. I never saw your wife. I'm engaged to three beautiful girls. Ask my secretary. Oh, well, I, uh, I just... Oh, take it easy, will you, pal? Here, sit down, calm yourself. Thanks very much. Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute, now, take it easy. How about a cigar? I don't smoke. Well, get something to calm yourself. You want a drink? I don't drink. But I'll have a little bird seed if you don't mind. It always calms my nerves.
Say, I used to be a private detective, and as a favor to you, I'll try to find this chisel who's trying to steal your bell. Bell? How did you know her name was Bell? Wait, you know, all women are bells, like Bell of the Ball. Oh, I'm sorry, pal. I'm too impetuous and jealous, I guess. That's all right. I'll try to find this chisel, and when I find him, I'll let you know. And when you get your hands on him, give him this, and that, and this, and this, and this, and this. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You're certainly a pal. That's all right. And when you find him, give him this, too. Oh. <laughs> what a narrow escape. He suspects Bell and I. I gotta find myself a fall guy before he gets wise. My fall guy. Hi, Chef. I want you to stay away from Millie, you fuzzy top Casanova. She's my girl. Remember that. Ow! Ow! Why? Don't get excited, Chef. I'm only playing up the Millie to get her dad's business. And furthermore, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to get your job. Oh, thanks. Here, take this card to the perfect underwear company. They need a salesman. Oh, this will make my Christmas dandy. Oh, that's all right. Anything for a pal. Oh, I forgot to feed Cedric. What do you got in there? Why, that's Cedric, the only trained clam in the world. Watch this. A clam? Yeah. Cedric, how many days in a week? Marvelous. You ain't seen nothing yet. Come here. Cedric, what do we do if we don't like somebody? <laughs> Let me try that. Go ahead. Now, Cedric, what do we do when we don't like somebody? Listen to you, I'll get you in a chowder one day and look out. Believe me. Salt water. Here's that last bulb. Now get this in, then I'll be finished. Oh, be careful, Mo, dear. You might fall. I hope. Why, Belle, baby, the only one I'd ever fall for is you. <laughs> Clumsy ox. Ah. Mo, what is the matter with you today? Good. Oh, thanks, darling. Oh, thanks, nothing, Charlie. Say, you better finish the tree. I got an appointment and I'm late. Kiss me goodbye, darling. Ah, I'll see you later. Oh, my hat. Oh, you clumsy idiot. Good day, ma'am. Larry Fine sent me in regard to some undergarments. Oh, yes, he phoned me. Won't you come in? Oh, thank you, thank you. You have a lovely place here. Thank you. Now, here's the latest creation from Gay Paris. Why, they're rather cute. Would you mind modeling them for me? Anything to make a dishonest dollar. All right, you may go in there. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Millie, it's true. You go to that address like I told you, and you'll find out what a two-type of shemp really is. Is he there now? Sure, he's there with her right now. Atta girl. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, now to call Belle's husband. What a 
long prefix. Hello, Mo. Well, I found him. Well, here it is. Oh, pardon me. Well, where is he? Where's that faceless ship? ship? Who? Don't act so innocent. You're not fooling me. Well, just a moment now. I'm going to look for myself. It's no use lying to me. Larry told me he was here with you. That double-crossing skunk. Do you know Larry? Yes. And I suppose I'm going to have to marry him after all. Over my dead body. Mine, too. What was that? Well, I... I'll murder him. No! Where is he? I'll murder him. I'll tear him to pieces and without... to do. Blitzen is in the kitchen and Francis got the answers in his pants. A Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh! Yeah, all right. No. Take off that bed. Okay, I'll take it off. I'll... Why? Ooh! Oh, my. <laughs> Get me a towel! I'll get you, you home wrecker. Where is he? Where is he? That dirty rat. I'll murder him.
of Sleeping Beauties, eh? Come on, wake up. Come on, you slugs, get up! Where's the girls? Where'd they go? We're hunting the I love you, termites. I was lucky to get this decorating job from the landlady. She'd have tossed us out on her skulls if I hadn't talked her into letting us pay our rent this way. Come on, get busy! All right, all right. Oh, we'll have your apartment fixed up in a jiffy, Mrs. Magruder. I hope so. These furnishings cost a pretty penny, you know. I wouldn't want anything to happen to them. No, we... <clears throat> now, don't worry, Mrs. Magruder. Just relax till it's all done. Will you be surprised? No, I hope so. Look at that rug. Why don't you watch what you're doing? Clean it up! All right, all right. But oh, it's belting somebody. Clean it up, clean it up. I'm sorry, Bo. I didn't mean it. It was an accident. Oh, shut up. What's the matter with you? <clears throat> Take your tonsils out one of these days. Hey, imbecile. Move the radio. Oh, move it. Stupid, ain't he? <laughs> Look who's talking. Let's get out of here. Send parlay player. we did all that work. Shut up and finish packing. How come you give all the orders around here? Because I got all the brains around here. Any objections? Yes. <coughs> objections overruled. You finished packing? Just these few things right here. That's in. I want to get it on the right we side. We need those in there. Lock her up. All right. Sir. Wait a minute. You're getting no place. Let a guy do it that knows how. Spread out. Now, when I bounce it shut, you guys snap the lock. Right. right. What's the matter, Mo? Don't ask any foolish questions. Get the key. The key. Get the key. Don't want to look out there, will you? Come on, will you? Where's the key? In the trunk. 
Come on, Laurie. Wait a minute. Somebody threw a brick here, I said. I got it. I got it, Moe. I'll get you out okay. in a minute. Wait a minute. It's got me, too. Wait oh, a minute. Grab him. Oh, oh, I'll get it. Yeah. Go ahead. Wait, go ahead. Wait, go ahead. Oh, oh. Go ahead a little harder. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Get it off. All right. Come here. I got you right there. Go ahead. Oh, telegram. Thank you. Larry, a dime. <clears throat> hey, up, boy. Yeah. Oh, get up there. The telegraph office is four blocks that way. Next time, ring the doorbell. It's from my Uncle Phineas. He's coming to visit me. He says he can stay two weeks. Oh, he can. Two whole weeks. But we're so broke, we can't even feed ourselves. Let him go sponge on somebody else. Sure, let him stay at a hotel. He can afford it. He's got six million bucks. Sure, mm. why should we... Mm? Six million bucks? And he's your uncle? Yes. We can't let our Uncle Phineas stay at a hotel. Certainly not. But you said this... Never mind what I said. Our Uncle Phineas stays right here. But, Mo, I... haven't you got any family loyalty? Why shouldn't he stay here? Well, we were thrown out by the landlady, weren't we? Remember? Oh, That's yeah. right. I wonder if Uncle Phineas would like to sleep on a park bench. Wait a minute. Mrs. McGruder can't evict us at a time like this. We'll talk to the old battle axe. We'll explain the situation to her. Go on. Oh, no. We're scared of her. Scared? Of a woman? I'll tell that bitty a thing or two or three. Uh, to where does she come off to with that frog face? I'll tell her. Women. I tame them like Frank Buck tames tigers. Sometimes I'm kind to them. Sometimes I <laughs> the whip and make them jump. Listen. When I give her that sweet talking stuff, she'll probably wind up giving me the apartment rent free. But Mo, you just oh, quiet. Charm. That's the ticket. Women swoon when they turn on the old personality. Stop waving. Women are romantic way down in here. Take Mrs. McGruder. You take her. You got her. You I... were, uh, you miserable creature. Now, wait a minute, Mrs. McGruder. Look, Shem's uncle's coming here. Worth six million bucks. Uh, a likely story. Phineas Bowman. Mrs. McGruder, you want your back rent, don't you? Yeah, and if Uncle Phineas stays with Shemp, he'll probably make him a sole heir. Phineas Bowman. His sole heir, Shemp. All right, you can stay. But if you give me one more bit of trouble, out you go. Oh, no, Mrs. Badlax. What? Uh, no, no, Mrs. Biddy. Yeah. No, no, look, they mean Mrs. Dragon. What? Oh. Uh, Magruder, yeah, I think... Oh. That is a battle axe. Yeah, that was right. But no. you started oh, for yeah. I mean, you said deep you down. Deep no, down. No, no. Come on already. All right. You go in and clean up the bedroom. We want everything spick and span when Uncle Phineas gets here. Oh, why do I always have to clean up the bedroom? You were about to say? We want everything spick and span when Uncle Phineas gets here. Right, then get with it. Uh, oh! Full of vanilla. Oh. oh, vanilla. You imbecile, don't you know how to open a bottle? You go on, mix another cake while I get cleaned up. Oh, oh, oh. Lucky for him that I was in the midst of making a cake. I'd fix him. Upside down cake. Up. Oh, Uncle Phineas. Uncle Phineas, come right in. I was just sweet. Wait a minute. You're not Uncle Phineas. No, I'm not. I'm your new neighbor, Mrs. Duggan. I, I just moved in down the hall. Oh, hello. I was wondering if I could borrow a cup of sugar. Well, you know how it is when you move, you always forget something. Oh, certainly, certainly. Follow me. Just follow me. Come on. Right in here. Duggan, Duggan. I know that name from somewhere. Well, you must have heard of my husband, Rocky Duggan. The big guy that goes around tearing telephone books in half? That's right. He's the strongest man in the world. Oh, you think that's something? Fearless. Oh, oh, not so hard. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, upset Daisy. Upset Daisy. Oh, now look what you 
you've done. I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. What's going on here? Oh, it was an accident, Larry. I'll pay for the dress. Look, if my husband sees me like this, all you'll pay for is hospital bills. Oh, that's all right. I got insurance. Oh, oh Mo, her husband tears telephone books in half. And people, too. We better get her out of here. Fine goings on. Larry, get a roll. All right. If you, oh, any time you want to come in, I'll see if the coast is clear. Is he so high? Yes. And so wide? Yes. And has he got whiskers? Yes. That's him. Hi, neighbors. I'm Rocky Duggan. Uh -huh. Hi. I come down here looking for my missus. Yes, I know. I mean, I know all about you. You're the strongest man in the world. That's right. Want me to tear a telephone book for you? No, thanks. Never can tell when we need it. They call a doctor or something. Yeah. My missus said she was coming down here to bore a cup of sugar. I guess maybe she changed her mind. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, she changed her mind. Well, uh, I'll be seeing you, boys. Be seeing you. If my husband found me in here like this, there's no telling what he'd do. I beg your pardon. Where is apartment 304? I'm looking for my nephew, Mr. Shemp Howard. Well, 304, uh, right this way, sir. I, I just came from there. Oh. There you are, sir, right there. Thank you. Who's there? Phineas Bowman. <coughs> Uncle Phineas. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> oh. How do you do? Meet Chrome Dome. How do you do, Mr. Chrome Dome? Oh, well, that's the, the luggage man. I'll get it. You bullbrickers, I'm gonna tear you limb from over there. Oh! Wait, take it easy. Take, take it easy, easy brother. Come on! Oh, Larry, Larry. meaning a... Uncle's in there. He's got six million bucks. And Shep is the sole heir. 
Nephew, this is wonderful. Wonderful! <laughs> I want you to meet the future Mrs. Bowman. We were childhood sweethearts. <laughs> She's the only woman I ever cared for. Oh, Phineas. <laughs> You're so there goes our six million bucks. There goes our share. There goes our oil wells. There goes my tea! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It was a nice, quiet visit. Jim, we got to do something about this report. Three of our delegates smell a rat. We'll have to kick them out and get new ones. If Edgar isn't elected president, we'll never be able to make that oil grab. You're right, and we've got to get that oil by hook or crook. Mm. What we need are three delegates who are too dumb to think and who will do what we tell them. Now, where do we find such guys? Come in. Sorry to disturb you, boss, but we've got to clean the joint. Only take a few minutes. Well, that's all right, boys. You won't disturb us. Thank you. Right. Oh, come on. What you do? Gertie, that's the wall the boss wants clean. If they're half as dumb as they look, I think we've found our men. Watch the wall and don't spare the water. Right. Get busy, you porcupine. you mind your own business. Oh, oh, oh! See that? Yeah. There. Why, you... Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he broke it, he broke it. <laughs> oh! Hey, you got a hangnail, you know what Hangnail, I mean? eh? Yeah. You didn't get it all. There's another... Oh! Oh! Wait, wait, what do you want? What do you want? Hey, I'm telling you. Hey, hey, you're vacuuming sucking up all those papers. Oh, I'm sorry. You boys are going to have to be more. <laughs> I... My tooth! My... Hey! My toupee is in your vacuum! You... Oh, oh, it is? Look, you idiot, you scalped them. Yeah. I'll get it for you. Don't worry about it. I know, but... I know, but... Don't worry about it. But my... Hey, you yeah, hurry up. I got it. Get it. Get it. Get it. so we'll never lose it. Okay, wait a minute. Are you out of your mind? You want to punch a hole in this man's toupee? Uh, you right. boys are going to have to pay. Wait a minute. I, I know. I never heard such a... It's an accident. Oh, oh, I tell you, oh, take it oh, nice and easy. Relax. Never. I'll ne you... Wait, oh, you guys, uh, never in my life have I hey, had such um, Oh, hey, uh, shine up that honeydew. Okay, okay, boy. Oh, That's yeah, it. There, there, what, there. What's going on? I tell you... Oh, He's got a word there. There it is. There it is. He's got a word there. Coin a phrase, it's your to pay and you're stuck with it. <laughs> Get it? To pay, stuck with it? <laughs> there, mm. you idiot. Mm. 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 
stupid idiots. Uh, how dumb can guys be? Relax, Jim, relax. They're just what the doctor ordered. Hmm? Hey, boys, come here. Hurry. How'd you boys like to make a lot of easy money? You name it, we'll do it. Good. We'd like you boys to be delegates at the presidential convention. You're a cinch, boss. We know all about conventions. We've seen them on the television. Show them, boys, and pack it up like you're at the convention all right. now. All right. Yeah. We're at the convention. We're at the convention. The hall is a bedlam. The people are milling about. It's impossible to move. Everyone is shouting and talking hysterically. You have to elbow your way through the crowd. We scream and holler and above the din roar, our voices blast out. Vote for the one and only, that fearless, that honest man of the people, by the people, for the people and against the people. So let's vote for... Mo, who shall we vote for? Vote for that ham, uh, uh ham and dagger. Oh. Uh, the place is in a bedlam. Trumpets are blasting. Da, 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 They're off and running around the far turn. White Sox is out in front. Cardinals are running close by. The Giants are coming up fast. He's coming again. And hey, 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 hey. You're at the wrong convention. Brrrrum, brrrrum, boom. Ham and Edgar wants your vote. Chow his praises from your throat. You'll eat steak instead of stew. Five, four, three, two, three, two, three, two. Hold it, hold it. I'm a demand recount. What's the delegate's name? Geronimo from Rico Porto. Oh, you have to be in the Pucha Timon Ah, Hamza Hamza Lakapat Luck. How many votes? A two. Two? Yeah, two. You got your recount. Oh. Get out of here. Oh. The convention is getting out of control. Will the sergeant at arms please clear the aisle? Order! Order! I'll take a steak and french fries. You're out of order. Get out of here. We're going to this convention like soldiers. Fall in! Right shoulder! Hump! About! Face! Hump. Get over here. Get around. Right. Get. All right. Don't spin me. Don't spin All me. Right. Now! About! Face! Out! Why you... Where you guys? Feet sore. Oh. I'm all in. You know, a guy takes a terrible beating at these conventions. I'll say. Hey, I'm glad room service sent the food up. I'm dying for a cup of coffee. Me too. Call me some coffee too. Be quiet. Oh, oh, is that foot hot? You know, Larry, I was just thinking. It's a lucky thing we found out Ham and Egger is a crook before we voted for him. Yeah, and won't wait for him when he finds out we're not going to vote for his candidate. <laughs> Say, boys, we better caucus. Not me. All day long we had a rump session. And now you want me to caucus? I'm going to have my coffee. Go caucus yourself. Uh oh. Oh. Well, I'll fix that. I got a hot eye. I heard a hot feet, but never a hot eye. Well, I'll fix this, all right. I'll fix this. There we are. That's better. Hey, fellas, I finished my nomination speech. Listen. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, fellow degenerates. 
Uh, delegates, in these sordid and morbid times when our national economy is at stake, and stake is three dollars a pound, <laughs> there is a crying need for a man of destiny to step forth. What our country needs is tax reform and land reform. Instead, all we get is chloroform. Shall we continue to remain asleep? Can't you read the sign? Who's smoking? Get oh, out of here. <clears throat> Washington freed the country. Lincoln freed the slaves. Our candidate will free the working man from work. Oh, boy! Hey, 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, gentlemen. From now on, there will be a two-hour week. Hey! 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 What's the matter with you? Oh, that two-hour week, that got me. That two-hour week, that's for me. Don't be a chump, you chump. You can't believe all that stuff. That's a campaign promise. Come oh, on. Oh, wait a two off the top foot. Go ahead. Now then. <clears throat> yes. Where was I? Oh, yes. Therefore, delegates, it is my extreme honor to nominate as our next president, Abel Lamb Stewart. Hooray! 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 job to cut all these little pieces of confetti out with the scissors. Well, the scissors, they don't use the scissors, you dope. No? No, a razor blade. Oh. How much money did Stewart's manager give you for your boat? Fifteen hundred dollars. Then we can buy a yacht. And go fishing. Yeah, you got worms? Yeah, but I'm going anyhow. Say, something smells strong around here. Well, don't look at me. I changed my socks yesterday. Congratulations. Hey, let's eat. I'm hungry. Me too. I could eat a horse. Don't look at me. I said a horse, not a jackass. Come on, get busy. Okay. <coughs> what are you screaming about? Go on, carve the turkey. I can't. This thing isn't cooked. How do you know? I jabbed it with a fork and how it help. Stand aside, lame brain. I'll carve it. <coughs> it's haunted. What are you trying to do, starve me? Get over there. Why don't you quit playing carb that turkey? I'm scared to touch it. Scared? You're crazy. Look at that beautiful breast. <laughs> no wonder you can't carb it. It's ticklish. Hey, maybe a little seasoning will tenderize it. Pass me the black pepper. That ought to do it. <laughs> Gesundheit. <laughs> Hey, fellas, I got an idea. I'll stuff the turkey with crackers, let them soak up the gravy, then we eat the crackers. Smart boy. Let me fix that. You're losing it. Hey, we better hurry, because if we don't get there in time, we'll miss the whole... That's funny. I had a cracker in my hand, and before I knew what happened, the... <laughs> Quit stalling. How about those crackers? I can't do anything. This turkey keeps grabbing the crackers out of my hand. You're crazy. Next thing you'll tell me, it's walking. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll kill it. I'm sorry, Mo. Why, you. Where'd he go? He went that away. I'll get it. Look out. 
Hey, fellas, we've got to rush back to the convention. Choke. Oh! oh. Come on, we better hurry up. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? And now, to recap the voting. It is the 65th ballot, and the score is tied between Hammond Egger and Abel Lamb Stewart. There's some excitement on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Just a minute, please, until I check on it. Where are those three idiots? Why don't they cast their votes? That'd put us over. The three delegates from the 8th, 9th, and 10th district have just cast their votes. Oh, boy, that's us. We're in the bag. A great upset, a great upset. The three delegates who were committed to Egger have switched their vote in favor of Stewart. Stewart is the nominee for president. Those dirty double-crossing rats. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, we sure put that over. Yes, sir. We're going to be set for life. To say nothing of the dough we got, we'll be members of the cabinet. Yeah, I'll make you Secretary of Offense. Thanks. And you Secretary of the Inferior. Thanks. And I'll be Toastmaster General. If you live long enough. That's a nice crack to make. I didn't say anything. Me either. But I did. Why don't you mind your own business? Then we'll all get... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on. Now I got gotcha. you. Come on, open up that door. Open up your... They won't open it. Let's break it down. One, two, three. Find us. Gosh, sis, how long do we have to stay here in this car? Until we get that sleeping beauty back there to marry you. Oh, yeah, this is love for war. Eh, why does your older sister have to get married before you can marry me? It's an old family tradition. And besides, he's filthy with money. Eh, uh, he's filthy widow it out. Just the same with his money, we'll live on Easy Street. You don't think he'd marry this bean pole? <laughs> How dare you insult my sister, you, you porcupine? What I say now, ah, uh, shut up. Why, you, come back here. Oh, who are you telling to shut up? Yo, and furthermore, how'd you like to have a bust in the nose? And who's gonna give it to me? I'm gonna give it to you right in the, baby. Sweetheart. I'm sorry, darling. I'll see what I can do with that sleeping beauty. <laughs> I'm shot. Or half shot. I, I ought to be shot. Well, I guess I'll have a shot. Listen, Shemp, why don't you sober up and marry Roberta? 
No soap. Not me. Oh, no. No, no. I've been robbed. Hey, there. Whew. At last I found her. A little brown jug. Where are you? I know. Double crossing you. Hey, my boy, Nora, come here, quick. I seen a guy snooping out there. I think we're in trouble. Oh, here he is. Roberta, darling. Roberta, darling, you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, Ma. At last I found oh, you. Ma. I've searched the world over, and at last I found her. What thrills, what bliss, what ecstasy. Darling, kiss me. Get out of here. Why did you turn me down? Why won't you marry me? <laughs> you come along with me quietly, you car napper. Oh, wait a minute. First, tell me, how did you manage to steal a car from a rolling train? That's a secret I'll tell nobody, never. And if I was you, I wouldn't be in such a hurry to arrest me. Why not? There's a guy on this train that's crazy about Roberta. And if you don't want to lose her, you better play ball with me. Wait a minute. How did you know I had a ball? Boom! Come on now, you quit. That's him. Listen, Mug. You trying to beat my time with Roberta? Horrible, but I needed it. Oh. Now listen, Mug. Shh. Wait. But what are you going to do? Quiet! Cherry. My darling canary. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. Gosh, I'm glad to see you, sweetheart. Who are you talking to? Ain't you got eyes? My canary. Boy, I've heard a guy seeing pink elephants, but never canaries. Hello, baby. Gosh, you look prettier than ever. <laughs> But you're the one I love. Oh, Carrie, my dear, I love but you. Hey, that rumpot thinks he's dancing with somebody. Yeah, give me that jug. Maybe I'll think so, too. Save a waltz for me. Oh. Boy, this stuff has really got a kick. You too, eh? Hey, what's the idea of kicking me? Oh, oh, oh. Now oh, you chase carry away. <laughs> oh, shut up. You ain't kidding me with that stuff. And furthermore, you stay away from Roberta. She's my girl. Put your hand on your chin. Your knee up here. Oh! Oh! That's okay with me. I don't want her. Oh, she's not good enough for you, eh? Oh! 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 Okay, okay. Then I'll take it. Oh, you're trying to cut me out again, eh? Up here again. Oh! Just a minute, pal. Come on, come on, get up there. Oh. Uh, take it easy now. Get it up there. Uh. 
Have a point. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, I'll take care of this, kid. Oh, you got dandruff. That's all right. <clears throat> I'll clean it up. Just take it easy. Wise guy, huh? Hey. Well, let's see. Where were we? Right here. Oh. Where's Carrie? Hey, Carrie. Carrie, Carrie. I know you boys are just going to love these fresh Limburger sandwiches and nice cold beer. Oh, boy, Limburger, my favorite fruit. You only had some applesauce. Mm. Boy, is this stuff potent. Cheese has no flavor if you can't smell it. Wow, what a flavor. Yeah, it's getting stronger every second. That's Lumberger. Yeah, but what's on it? Fish meal. Fish meal? I'll mm. fix that. Put some of this perfume on it. Hey, don't spoil my sandwich with that stinky stuff. I got a weak stomach. Oh. Oh, how do you like it? Why, you... Ah! Hmm, pretty good. Oh, a pussycat. That's no pussycat, you wimbles, though. That's a skunk. So if it's a skunk... Whoa! Whoa! Get oh. rid of it! I will... Oh, watch yourself. Oh! Uh... I don't want it! Oh! I don't want to... Mo! 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 Hold still. Hold still, I'll kill it. <laughs> sorry, kid, sorry. Say a few syllables. Tell me your name so I can tell your mother. My mother knows my name. Get away, come on. Where do we snap out of it? I'll go have a talk with him. Yeah? Follow me. 
Shampy dear, what you need is a wife to straighten you out, and I know someone who's very close to you and loves you dearly. Gosh, this is so sudden. I didn't know you cared. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Baby, whoopee, I'd love you to know if you don't. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe you send chills up and down my spine. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, hey, that's my girl. Nobody kisses her but me. Oh, that's what you think. Sit down, you might learn something. Chills. What thrills? <laughs> ah, oh! <sighs> Wait a minute. You can't kiss my girl. Beat it, has been. You're turned down again. Get out of here, you two-timer. <laughs> you two, you three-timer. <laughs> baby. My bird. Sweetie pie, will you fly away with me? 